Okay. Good morning, everyone. So Good after morning. the term and examination, we are meeting each other here in this platform now for the first time. So children, listen. We are going to start a topic and this topic is an easy topic and this is a familiar topic. You know this very well. And this topic is not uh, uh, any other topic. The topic is actually the tenses, right? We need to know the 12 uh, tense forms, three tenses, and uh, then we'll move to finite verbs and non-finite verbs, okay? So children, initially, I would like to introduce the topic tense and I need to explain because we have new admission students here also, right? Those who know the rules thoroughly please bear this day for everyone because there are few students still confused in the tense form so we'll, we'll use this time for learning tense rules see children the word tense okay the word tense means time okay tense the word means time time means it is actually indicating the time of an action at what time, whether it is completed, whether it is happening now, whether it is going to happen in future, right? So we basically divide the time into three pieces and we can label it as present tense, the time now. Here in front of your class or in front of you guys, I am standing here. I am actually lesson teaching lessons uh, from grammar and I'm teaching you English grammar, even the topic tenses. At present, it is going on. Now, this moment, okay? So such a time can be labeled as present tense or the time now, okay? Yesterday, I, I sorry, uh, yesterday, if I want to share something happened already, what is completed already sometime in the past, I have to use. Yeah. Past tense. past tense okay happened a completed action can be expressed with the help of past tense so, so a past tense it talks about the time then okay and children remember if i want to talk about something that may happen in my life maybe tomorrow maybe after a month maybe after a year then i can use future tense for sharing such expressions okay so based on this time now based on this time then based on this time to come we can divide the time into three pieces clear me, yes the minus need because of some network issue That's okay also. you are welcome so there are three times tense means time time of action we can divide the tense into three pieces time now present tense time then past tense time to come future tense let me share the screen for you children now let us talk about tense in general as you all know here the tense you can find or the the most important word which help us to identify the tense as a verb right by looking at the verb or by, by looking at the action word will be able to identify whether it is happening now whether it is uh, already completed whether it is going to happen in the future right so verb it plays a very vital or an important role in tenses okay and remember as you all know because you are familiar with the regular and irregular verb you know a verb takes different forms there is a That's present right. form there is a past Simple. form there is a past participle form and there is a present participle form of verb, right? We have four forms of verb in English grammar. I repeat, present form of the verb, past form of the verb, past participle form of the verb and present participle form of the verb. And we are using these four different forms of verb in different tenses, okay? So verb can take several forms. It takes present form, it can take past form, it can take a past participle form, and it can also use in the form of a present participle to show a continuity in the action, okay? And these different forms of verbs are called tenses, okay? These different forms of verbs are called tenses in English grammar. I repeat, there are three tenses and 12 tense form. I said there are three tenses. What are the three tenses, children? Okay, present tense, past tense, and future tense. There are three tenses or three times of action in English grammar. We have three tenses and we have 12 tense forms in English grammar. 
Now let us talk about tense in general. Tense shows us the time. I said tense, the word means time when an action takes place. Tense, it always explains the concept, the time. Okay, time of an action takes place. Okay, so the basic forms of tense are as I, as I have told you, we have three basic forms. Okay, the basic forms of tense are present tense, past tense, and future tense. Okay, we have present tense, time now, past tense, time then. We have future tense. Check the spelling of future and present children. Future tense, time to come. These are the three basic forms of tenses in English grammar. Okay, now let me share another point. How can we change or how can we add other forms, children? I said there are 12 forms, right? How can I change this or how can I make these three tenses into 12 forms? Ma'am, we can add the form to the tenses. Yes, yes, yes. I said Present tense, past tense, and I have future tense. These are the three tenses, right? Future tense. Under each tense, I have four different forms. Okay? That is simple, simple present, simple, continuous. Check the spelling of continuous. C O N T I. N U O U S continuous form perfect P E R F E C T perfect and the last one is perfect continuous perfect continuous C O N T I N U O U S perfect continuous so under present tense you have these four forms under past tense you have these four forms and also under future tense you have four forms so under four plus four plus four is equal to 12 yeah. tense forms you have one two three you have three tenses present tense past tense future tense you have three tenses and you have 12 tense form you can call present simple or simple present tense you can use present continuous tense you can say present perfect tense you can use present perfect continuous tense and simple past past continuous past perfect past perfect continuous now it is eight in number now, simple future, future continuous, future perfect, future perfect continuous. So again, 8 plus 4 is equal to 12 tense forms. So we have three tenses and we have 12 tense forms in English grammar. Now, Pavitra Girish. Pavitra, are you present here? Okay, Pavitra. Since as you are a new student of the session or a class yes, and this topic is not familiar, let me ask a question. How many tenses are there? Ma'am, how, how many? Tenses are there? Three tenses, ma'am. What are they? Present tense, past tense and past participle. I no. Future, future, ma'am. Future. future. So could you please repeat? Present tense, past tense and future. Okay, thank you. How many tense forms are there? A 12, ma'am. What are they? Can you name? Sim yes, ma'am. Simple, uh, continuous, perfect, and perfect continuous. But I got only four now. How can you make it uh, 12? Um, uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, in the present tense, uh, simple, continuous, perfect, perfect, continuous, uh, like four will come. And in past tense and future also, four will come. So like that, uh, 12 will be there. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. I hope that you all are clear about this. So let us move to the next yes. topic. Let us talk about the rules now, right? So we are moving into the rule of simple present tense. Let us talk about the present tense. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Present tense. I do request everyone to take a ruled paper. 
and you can see don't wait you don't wait you to get everything in the website okay you can start writing all the rules and the examples written this is enough along with the exercise this is enough for you these are the notes i'm sharing so children please look at the board we are starting with the present tense okay present tense the first one is simple present tense as i have told you a verb it takes uh, uh, its present form its past form its past participle form and present participle form right Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma I'm going to write these four forms on the board. Okay, present, present, past, past participle short form. I'm using past participle form of the verb and present participle form of the verb. These are the four forms. Okay, so I can divide it into this way. Okay, and here. I have a subdivision coming under the present tense. This is important. Okay, present can, tense can be divided into singular and plural. Okay, singular and plural. Okay, present form. Suppose if the word is move, where can I write here in this box? Move. M O V E move. If the verb is move, where can I record it in the box? Singular. Someone saying is it a singular? M O V E move. My word is M O V E move. Tell me whether it is singular or plural, or it is coming under the past tense, past participle, or future tense, or it is present tense, present continuous, or where I should record this? In full present. Isha Binoy. Isha. Present tense. Yes, ma'am. What is it? Move. I have a few columns here: singular, plural, under present tense, past tense, past participle, and present participle. If if you are going to include this move in present, you tell me under singular or plural. It's under singular. Is it under singular? There is a problem, Isha. The word singular is starting with the letter S, right? Yes. Huh? If the verb is ending with S, E, S, or I, E, S, then only we can call it a singular verb. So now you tell me where I can include this. It's plural. Okay, all the base forms are plural forms. I said singular is a word which is starting with letter S. So if you are verb, if you want to make a singular verb, you have to add S or E S or I E S at the end of your verb. So, so this is sir sound ending with sir sound singular starting with the letter S and verb that should be ending with sir sound. So we can call it a singular verb. As Isha said, I'm going to enter M O V E move under present tense plural. So what is the singular form of move? Moves. Moves. M O V E S moves. So all the S E S I E S forms are coming under the singular form under present tense. The base forms are coming under the plural. And what is the past form? Move. The move. word move can be moved under past tense. And what is the past participle form? Moved. Moved, moved itself. Moved itself. Moved. What is the present participle form? Moving. Moving. You should Moving. be thorough with this. Otherwise, you won't be able to write your Just tense form in a proper it. way. Okay. So singular moves, plural moves. Moved past tense, moved to past participle form, moving ing forms are present participle form. These present participle forms normally used in continuous yes. tenses, all the continuous tenses to show the action which is going on. To show or to indicate an action that is going on, we can use ing form of the verb. Clear? It's and this past participle form of the verb can be used in all the perfect tenses. Yes. All the perfect tenses, we can use past participle form of the verb. Okay. And past form, this is very clear. We can use this only in simple past. Yes. Clear? And present form. Here, just imagine if your subject is singular. Okay. If your subject is a singular subject, then you can use a singular verb. Yes, clear if the subject is plural you must use a plural verb okay with so with that. the singular subject use a singular verb in present tense with the plural subject use a plural form of the verb in or plural form of the verb with the plural subject oh, okay goodness. if if the example is gautam okay gautam how many gautam one 
only one gaudam singular or plural singular gaudam like or gaudam likes like uh, gaudam singular so i can use only a singular verb with a gaudam right gaudam likes ice creams right gaudam likes if it is shreya and gaudam how many are there Two. 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 two, two. So I can see. I can use a pronoun they, right? So they stands for what plural subject? So in that case, I can use present tense plural form. So they like oranges. Okay, they like oranges. Gaudam likes orange. Okay, Gaudam likes oranges or orange, and they like oranges. So remember, when you write a sentence in simple present tense, if the subject is singular, use a singular verb. If the subject is plural, you can use a plural verb. Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now let us learn about yes, the the rule of simple present tense. I'm going to share this. This is very important because this year you are uh, going you are going to learn active and passive voice, which is one of the important topic that is there till ninth standard. Okay. So I request everybody to pay attention here because the tense rule should be thorough. Otherwise, you won't be able to do anything in active and passive voice. So children, learn the rules by heart. and keep a few examples in your mind know the rules thoroughly okay so let us see simple present tense rule i request everybody to look at here the rule to write or to frame a simple present form us we should begin our simple present tense with the subject okay and first form of the verb or present form of the verb must be used after a verb this is depending upon the subject if the subject is singular use a singular present form of the verb if the subject is plural you have to change it into plural form so this is interconnected okay so subject plus present form of the verb plus object is the formula for writing a sentence in simple present tense look at the examples i so that this i is an exceptional case okay because i you know i is a pronoun which is singular in form but with i i can use only the base form of a verb whenever you use i whenever you use you subject i and with subject to you you can use only the base form of a verb clear yes ma'am don't write i eat i eat an apple every day is the wrong usage after i the pronoun i can use only the base form of the verb i am or i eat okay she always forgets her purse here she is singular subject so i have to use a singular verb forgets Okay, birds. As you all know, birds plural in form. So I can use with plural. I can use only the plural form. See, do like. New York is a small city. Very small one. New York is a small city. The train singular. The train leaves tonight at six p.m. He needs. help right now look at the structure look at the formula children and the examples too simple present tense the formula to construct or to frame a sentence in simple present tenses subject plus present form of the verb plus object present form of the verb it can be singular or plural in form it is completely depending upon the subject if the subject is singular use a singular present form if the subject is plural you can use a plural form of the verb here okay clear yeah ma'am is am i clear okay now let me hear amrose anthony george amrose please tell me the rule of simple present tense with one example subject plus present form of the verb plus object okay example i don't want I, it from the i don't want it from the slide i want you to make us an example for simple present tense i request diya md diya yes ma'am give me one example of simple present tense ma'am can you repeat it? could you please give me an example for simple present tense 
manu they play football every day they play as they is singular or plural in form they is plural in form plural. so you have to use a plural verb isn't it Excuse so play me. play is the plural form very good so they play me, football john sebi how are you no fine ma'am you're good okay no, very good excuse me ma'am okay ma yes one second let me hear an example from john sebi john can you give me one example for what simple present tense okay i'm not uh, making you confused chinmay let an initial screen chinmay yes ma'am i want an example simple present tense he loves to play basketball he he loves to play basketball spelling of the verb l o v e or l o v e s l o v e s okay agree agree excuse Rusin? me ma'am Yes, I am. Ma'am, in what can I say? Yes, of course. Ma'am, so uh, when I was watching YouTube, uh, like most of the time with I, we use am. I am a good boy, like that. So I am a good boy. Yes, correct. Ma'am, so in that they suddenly gave a sentence like I is the ninth letter of the alphabet. I is the ninth letter of the alphabet. <laughs> okay. That I I I don't know why they have written I is the ninth letter of Mama, the English alphabet. I mean, also I didn't understand. Even Mama, I didn't. It's like A B C D E. I understood that. Okay, that okay. That is clear. That is that very is clear. Nine. But he said I am a boy. And what was your question, Iman? Ma'am, they they suddenly show a sentence. I is the ninth letter of the alphabet. Okay, that was the only reason. Even even Google aunt. Wait, 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 wait. Even Google auntie cannot even find the reason why we are using am with I, right? So let the auntie to take rest, and she we can explain it because it is rule by rule English grammarians. We don't know this is called exceptional cases, right? We don't know why because this is language. If you ask me, why, ma'am, always we are using the term on. Ah, uh, Agne, a man on is on the screen. Actually, he is sitting inside somewhere, right, in a pixel or somewhere, right? Why are you using on on the screen? Is he sitting on top of the screen? No, but still, we have to use preposition preposition on when I have to share with something that is appearing on the screen, right? That is English. It is usage. Okay. If somebody asks you why on, ma'am. I don't know the reason because this is language. Okay, language it has its own freedom to extend itself, right? We are actually uh, by usages and usage. We are it is it is ever changing. Language is ever changing, especially English language. It has collected uh, the words from everywhere. Okay, words from everywhere means from all the languages in the world. It has borrowed words. Okay, wherever it traveled from those places, it collected at least ten words. Okay, and the language uh, is actually enriching with the help of other languages. Even I said the word curry is a Malayalam word. At present, everyone is using it in English. In chicken curry, right? It is an English word now. Curry is a Malayalam word, right? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma children. And we are we started using some Malayalam words in the form of English. Okay, so there is actually English is a learned language. Learned language means wherever it travels from those old places, it gathers some words and it started inserting it, and it is actually a language which borrows a lot of words from everywhere. So I mean, maybe that uh, Google is not even thorough with the concept. So maybe that is why it said anyway he has to give you or she has to give you an explanation. So easy explanation is that I is the ninth letter of your English alphabet. There is no question why. Because it is like that. Okay, now let us come back to the simple present uh, form. Nisha, excuse me, ma'am. Ma can I Richard. tell the example? Excuse me, ma'am. Then one person is waiting here for giving me a simple present example. So we'll we'll we are just moving into the simple present tense. Yes, Rusi. Yes, ma'am. Rusi is her. Rusi eats her food. Ah, oh, Rusi eats. The ma word is. Uh, eats because Rusin is singular in form. So look at the board, children. I request everybody to note the formula. The formula for constructing. What is the plural form of the word formula? 
formula 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 okay formula plural is formulas wrong formula okay so let us see let us see the second formula ma'am i have a doubt yes of course you can share if the bird does not uh, like milk is it correct sentence the bird does not if it is the bird does can be used here it is birds okay. here it is birds that is why i have told you to use do do not like because birds plural so i have to use do only right i cannot use the over there right yes or no yes yes so let me share the screen once again for you children so here is the rule for uh, constructing a sentence in simple present tense subject plus present form of the verb plus object is the rule and you have a few examples here and i do repeat again one thing i am going to introduce the new topic finite verb here whenever we know if if we want to trace a, a sentence in which tense form the first and foremost thing is that we have to check the verb and the auxiliary verb used in the sentence here in the first sentence eat eat is the verb used right so eat shows that this is a present form of the verb okay present form singular so where are we using present form of the verb only in simple present tense right only in simple present tense we can use the present form of the verb so by looking at a verb if we are able to identify the tense form then such a verbs are called finite verbs in english english grammar finite verbs i repeat finite verbs okay finite verbs are verbs which help us to identify the tense form of a sentence so such a verbs are called finite verbs in english grammar in the second sentence can you identify the finite verb yes ma'am forget. Forget. forget in the third sentence do not, not lie do, do not, not lie. lie in the in the next sentence yes yes is is the simple present form right so this is an yes. example for simple present tense not for present continuous okay now look at the next example second mm -hmm. last one lives lives a night verb which help us to identify the tense okay last one needs needs, needs. needs. the finite verb in the last sentence is needs right so these are the different tense form present form of the verb uh which help us to identify or these finite verb will help us to identify the tense form properly such a verbs are called finite verbs used in english grammar now let us see the rule of present continuous i repeat the spelling of continuous c o n t i n u o u s everyone must by heart the spelling of continuous present continuous c o n t i n u o u s listen here children the formula to construct a sentence in present continuous tenses we should begin our sentence with a subject i repeat we have to begin our sentence with a the subject then what else here am is here am is or are to show the continuity before using a present participle form i have to opt a present form okay b forms are am is are these are the b form present right the present form of b am is are so after the subject i should fit these auxiliary verb then i can use the present participle form of the verb present participles are the continuous or ing forms of verb okay so to show a continuity in your action you must use ing form of the verb and these ing forms are called present participle forms of verb so before the present participle to give an idea that the sentence is actually coming in present tense we have to use an auxiliary verb present form of be okay if the subject is i you can use am with i you can use only am with singular subject you can use is with plural and with you you must use plural auxiliary verb are with you you cannot use is with you you can use only are plus present participle form of the verb plus object subject plus are because is be is actually a plural subject so i have to prefer a plural verb so are is the plural form of auxiliary verb be form 
then to show the continuity in my action since it is present continuous i have to use a continuous form of the verb so r plus continuous plus object a song is used here so by look which is the finite verb children here are singing are singing is the finite are verb are shows the sentence is in present singing shows this shows a continuous action so the sentence is an example for present continuous so this finite verb auxiliary verb plus main verb guide us to identify the tense form so we can call it as a finite mm. verb of the sentence because this help us to identify the tense of the or tense form of the sentence here in my second sentence the second sentence is just starting with the pronoun i i told you if the subject is i in continuous present continuous tense you can use only am you cannot use is with i so i am living living and continuous form so i am shows the sentence is actually present in form living shows continuous action so i am living is the finite verb and we can say that the sentence is an example for present continuous tense look at the third example as your subject to you second person pronoun you is used here you though it is singular in form but with you you cannot use is okay if your subject is you you can use only are plus present participle form of the verb so are getting is the finite verb of the sentence you are getting taller and taller every day okay you are getting taller and taller every day now last sentence jane is looking really good today jane is jane singular subject so b form is can be used with continuous action so is looking is the finite verb because is shows this is present tense looking shows this is continuous action so this is an example for present continuous clear no yes ma'am yes, ma am i clear children yes ma'am yes, ma okay so look at the formula i repeat the formula again the rule for writing a sentence in present continuous is subject plus am is are plus present participle form of the verb plus object i request everybody to underline the finite verb also ma'am uh, we should also write the examples sure sure now anyway anantesh please give me one example in present continuous he is going to the uh, he is going to watch the football match he is going to watch the football match okay fine so your finite verb he is going excellent i want to give them to give me one example present continuous i am going to the mall i don't want going to you some other word i am i am coming to your house sure you are welcome i am coming so your finite verb i am coming very good very good so now cheryl cheryl yes ma'am the an ostrich example. is looking for its egg the ostrich is looking for its egg yes ma'am i think it was stolen by cheryl mary No, okay so this uh, an ostrich uh, is searching for its egg okay is searching is the finite verb adina das nayar can you give me one example you can you can write all these examples please note down these examples okay they ma'am can i say adina yes they are playing football they are playing football so your finite verb are playing okay richard melking Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Example. I request everybody to write all the examples uh, given by the students, and also underline the finite verb. Okay, Richard Melking, please give me one example in present continuous. Present continuous. I am waiting for you, ma'am. Right. I am waiting for you, Amros. Okay. So your finite verb. Uh, I am waiting. I am waiting. Why, Gary? 
Yes, ma'am. One example. I am learning English. I grammar. am learning English. Okay, English grammar. So your finite work? I am learning. Okay. Rohit ke jain. I don't want I and I don't want am. Use some other words. You can start with you. You are talking to me. Right? You are talking to me. Rohit. You yes. are talking to me. So here the finite verb is? Yeah. You are talking. You are talking. Now, Brightlin Lijo, give me one example. The stars are glowing in the sky. Excellent. Wonderful. You are a poet, my son. Be a Shakespeare in future. Okay. So you, the stars are glowing. The stars are glowing in the sky. Okay. Am I right? Finite verb is are glowing. Are glowing is the finite verb. Wonderful. So I want one example from Atfika. Atfika, can you? They are jumping on the bed. Why? Your mother is not there. Yes, she's here. She is here. Okay. They are jumping. Her sister, Adviga's sister and uh, brothers are jumping on the bed. Okay. It's not good. Tell them it is not good to practice such items on the... If they want to study martial arts, send them to some other martial arts training schools. Okay. Jumping on the bed. So your finite verb is? Are jumping. Are jumping. Agni, give me one. I am waiting for you, ma'am. Right. I am waiting for my turn, ma'am. Right. Yes. He is writing the notes. Why he is not writing his notes uh, earlier? Why can't he? Why he is writing it now during my period? Tell him to stop writing. Okay. So what is your finite work? Is writing. Wonderful. Rudra Krishna? I am swinging. Right? I am not swimming. No. Anyway, if, if, if it is heavy rain, we have to swim. Right? Yes, no other way. Rudra? Uh, I am making a cake. You are baking a cake. So your finite work? Making. Uh, okay, you said making. Okay, making or baking. It is any baking, right? No problem. So thank you so much, children, for your attendance. Uh, and we'll repeat this in the next class. I do request everybody to write 10, 10 sentences by your own. Try to write by your own in simple present tense with singular and with plural subject. And also you can five sentences in simple present with singular subject, five sentences with plural subject, and 10 sentences can be written using uh, present continuous. Thank you so much. See you in the next class. Thank you.